I was in a slump the other day and despite my mantra of looking within for answers, I kind of decided I needed help. So I reached out for my tarot card for some direction. And because the universe has a great sense of humor, she threw up this card. And this is the exact thing that I want to talk about. How to move from doing nothingness to action. If you're my tribe member, hello again. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Stay on for some exciting tips and tools that you can apply right away to create a life that you want. I'm Sheila and this is Lumia 24. Light on! When my clients come to me and say that they're stuck, I know exactly what they mean. They feel immobilized. They feel they are in a stationary cycle that's going nowhere. They feel they've tried everything and things have not changed or that they don't know what to do. Okay, so what I'm going to say next is going to get half of you to drop off this video. You have not tried everything. What you really mean is that you're so afraid to take any steps that you stay in the same place. Almost. No? Stay with me here. The first thing to change when you feel you're stuck is your own inner voice. And the first way to get unstuck is pretty simple and the toughest. Shock your system. In one of the seminars that I attended, we were asked to jump into a pool filled with almost 8,000 pounds of ice. My entire system, which is used to warm baths and comfortable clothes, went into an instant shock as I jumped in. But when I emerged from it, I realized I felt completely different. Now, you don't have to jump into an ice pool. But what I mean is that you do have to do something which is radically different from what you've been used to doing. If you're going to do the same thing over and over again and expect different results, you're only fooling yourself. Take yourself out from the environment you're in. If you're always in an office kind of an environment, go to a nightclub. Go on a short trip. Go out and sit on a park bench. Whatever. When you take yourself out of a familiar place, all of a sudden, your brain has to work at a whole new level. You see things from a different perspective. You make connections that you would never have done before. That's when growth happens. Create new habits. Habits break you or make you. Most of the movies show the protagonist oversleeping, then wake up with a start, roll off bed, grab a coffee or a slice of toast, change shoes on the subway and land up looking impeccable at work and acing a great project. Trust me, it looks good only on screen. For some of us, that is a reality. How does that work out for you? Really successful people wake up at 5 a.m. They exercise, they meditate, they read motivational books, they plan their entire day. Make no mistake, both these scenarios are habits. But unless you take conscious charge of your life and habits, you will be on the road to stuck down. Good habits are the foundation of a successful life. Push through fear. Most of the time, what keeps us stuck is our fear. Fear of failure, fear of comparison, fear of judgment, fear of criticism. We cannot be fearless all the time, but we have to take the risk of trying something and failing spectacularly. I have a history of failures behind me, including the nun in my school who disallowed. Is that even a word? Well, she didn't allow me to show the last act of the play that I was directing and starring in. She felt it was too long. And yet, here I am in front of the camera, risking your comments. You cannot have a voice without the risk of criticism. But the thing is to push through these. I have read and seen people who, when they're face to face with the prospect of death, suddenly do everything they've ever wanted to do. They take flying lessons, they start a new business and really don't bother about any of the worries that stop us from living our life. Truly, great success comes when you're willing to fail. Now, I don't want to wish death upon you, but just consider this tool that can help you move forward. I call this the half chance. This is my favorite quote. What if I fall? Oh my darling, what if you fly? The probability of falling and flying are 50-50. As much as the risk of falling, that much the probability of succeeding. And that's what the cards were showing me. 
if we are willing to trust and move through the fear and resistance, we succeed. And in that off chance that you bomb, well, you still would have moved from your original spot. And that, my friend, is progress. So here's what you do. Write out that quote. Stick it on your mirror. Make it your screensaver. Wherever you can see it. And the next time you feel stuck and immobilized by fear, repeat this and do it anyways. This mantra tackles both, letting us acknowledge a fear while immediately remedying it with a comeback. It's not going to be easy. There will be setbacks. Some of the things that I'm proudest of are the things that terrified me. Yes, terrified me the most, moving cities to set up a business, having babies and being in charge of helpless little things, publishing my book, doing these videos. But I know this for sure. Only you can control the thoughts that you think and the actions you take. Of course, there are a lot more steps to getting unstuck, which is beyond the scope of this video. But this is a start. Go, get unstuck. You got this. And if you need help, connect with me. Getting people to move and take massive action is kind of a specialty of mine. Do share this video with people who may need it. Like and subscribe and tag it so that more people can get help when they need. Let's spread the light, folks.